OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. All right, now I'm very happy to turn this over to um, Marianne Fideli McLeod, who is the Marianne, I'm sorry, I can never remember your full title, but the director of our CalPro Pro, our Cal Pro project. So take it oh, away, Marianne. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, and greetings all. I do want to say thank you to CDE and our friends at OTAN for um, hosting the event and inviting uh, CalPro once again to present at the event. My name is Marianne Fidelia McLeod. Uh, I work for the American Institutes for Research, which runs CalPro on behalf of CDE and uh, CalPro director is, um, I think, the most important part of uh, my title at AIR and the work I do. Uh, I've been doing it since 2008 and uh, believe passionately in the mission of CalPro. And Jim, is it okay if I share screen to go through my slide deck? I'm going to answer for him, yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Melinda. Let's take just a moment. And Melinda, since I know you're on, can we see my slide deck? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'll just keep it in this mode uh, as Carolyn did and go through go through um, some of what we're doing at CalPro and um, introduce those of you who are not familiar with the project to the project. Um, Calipro, CalPro stands for the California Adult Literacy Professional Development Project. Uh, we're a state leadership project of the California Department of Ed Adult Education Office. Uh, we have a mission, and that is to foster continuous program improvement through this comp through a comprehensive statewide system for professional development. And in short, I will say, as as you read through this slide, um, we're doing our job for you. We are here for you, we serve you. Uh, I very much take a servant mindset. Uh, I ask my staff to do so also. Uh, our mission is to produce professional development, technical assistance products and services that ultimately will help you do your job uh, the way you wanna do it and to your high quality standards and the ex high quality expectations of CDE. Um, that is our sole purpose, and that's what we are obsessively focused on, is understanding needs in the field, in programs, and consortia, and offering PD uh, that supports you in, in getting where you want to be. And our ultimate goal is the one that is we, we believe is shared by you, and that's to um, enhance student learning gains and to help adult learners meet their goals as workers, family, and community members, and as lifelong learners. Um, so we hope to be in that shared mission with you through all the work that we do. And we keep a very learner-centered perspective uh, at the heart of, every, of, of all of our PD. So now I'm gonna take a few minutes um, to go through uh, some of the highlights of the professional development we offer. Uh, please reach out to us, uh, call. We are, have a Sacramento-based office. Um, and you could reach calpro.ar.org. You could reach me. I think my I think my email is at the end. If not, I will put it right in the um, chat after my presentation. We want to hear from you. We want to work with you. Um, so let me go through what are some of the highlights of our work. Uh, each year we we do a lot, and a few of the things we do are uh, statewide institutes we receive applications and we conduct events that are usually high flex or hybrid based in our Sacramento office with online components. And the first that I think uh, may be most, of most interest and most relevant is our Administrative Leadership Institute. Um, every year we seek new and inspiring administrators uh, to participate in the Institute. And uh, California has had an investment in administrative leadership begin Beginning in 1985, uh, CalPro has been in existence since 2001, so about 22 years. Um, and we're proud to carry on that tradition and continually work to improve it. 
the CalPRO Adult Ed Administrative Leadership, we cover a range of topics, and it's really about building skills for new admins to perform your jobs effectively. We have real sort of bread and butter, brass tack topics that we cover, uh, fiscal and personal management, program marketing, WIO implementation, equity, collaboration, which is the name of the game of WIOA administration and instructional leadership, to name but a few of the topics that we cover. The Leadership Institute is a, it takes place really over two years. The first year of the Institute and the application is out now. This will go in the chat. Either Melinda will put it in or I'll put it in after. I will also work with our OTAN team to get this into your email inbox if you haven't already received it. We are right now accepting applications to this year's uh, Admin Leadership Institute. It is your opportunity to go in depth in your own professional learning as a transformational leader and as a fiscal and uh, management leader at your institution and in your consortium. You will be part of the institute that is facilitated by seasoned administrators, many who you know from professional organizations, other PD that maybe you've done. And it is a phenomenal opportunity um, to develop a peer group of new administrators and develop a network of really seasoned pros who've been doing this a long time and who have, uh, I would say, influence and a really high profile in the field. We're very grateful for them. After the first year of the Institute, which will be in part of it in our office, part of it online, uh, you'll receive up to a year of one-on-one -on -one coaching support uh, as you begin to implement a number of the skills you'll learn along the way. So. It's usually a full house. Um, we're going to assure that this application is open long enough so that you, I believe it's due like November 2nd, um, really encourage you to attend this as a new or aspiring administrator. Uh, next, uh, again, in terms of high interest, the Integrated Education and Training Clinic. Um, IET can be a challenging program model to implement. Uh, but it is one that is about accelerating our learners' transition into career credentialing and uh, career credentialing programming and the workforce. Um, there, it's a five-month institute. This one is all virtual. We wanted to really create a low threshold to participation. Um, it's you can read the slide. It will be all virtual. Some of it is synchronous. Some of it is, is asynchronous. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, and the the admin leadership institute you could do on your own. The IET implementation clinic you do with a team. So this would the ideal team includes you as the program administrator, uh, one of your ABE ESA ASC ESL staff, and a CTE instructor. And it is obsessively focused on developing a plan for implementation of IET programming and and improvement of IET programming. The topics we cover are listed here. And just like the Admin Leadership Institute, after your, you and your team go through the implementation clinic, you'll receive up to another year of one-on-one -on -one coaching support from successful IET program administrators to help you put your IET program plan into an implementation phase with support. Uh, this is always a packed house. So if this is something you're receiving those EL healthcare funds, uh, you're struggling and it is a struggle to implement IET. It's not an easy, easy peasy program model. Um, this is for you. We offer this clinic twice a year. The fall application is live now. We will also offer a spring uh, implementation clinic. I think we've been doing it for five years and two a year and every year it's packed. So please, please, um, I'll make sure that that application, some uh, slide, first slide of this is in this chat, but is also sent to your inbox. We want to see you there. Third, uh, implement, third institute we're conducting this year is our Professional Learning Communities Institute. We've been running this one for quite a long time. Um, and we, like you, always seek continuous improvement. Um, so it's always changing when we're trying to tweak it to be relevant. Uh, the Institute is multi-day sessions, so it's uh, high flex, some face-to-face -face here in Sacramento, some virtual, and coaching support throughout the year. So in this Institute, you're going through the, going through it, 
making PLC plans, which are focused on in real time implementation during the year that you're in the Institute. And then you have a coach who's working with you throughout the year to implement those plans. I'll let you read the slide. We're expecting, you know, I, I think like like anything in life, you will get as much out of it as as you put into it. Uh, so we're we look forward to uh, our teams joining us again to be in the two day two days two or three days in December two or three days in May. Uh, I'm having a hard time reading the slide without my glasses. Um, but again, this is very much focused on a sort of brass tax implementation, making plans and putting them together. Uh, here's the, the run of show for the PLC Institute. A um, little bit of an office, little which will be high flex, meaning you can participate virtually if you need to, and we'll have tailored activities to make sure you're getting the most out of that. And then there's some virtual work. Um, application is here. I will make sure that this is a team effort again, uh, and I'll make sure you get that in your inbox as well as this chat. Now, Aside from the major institutes that we do, there is a range of PD um, that can be accomplished in shorter time horizon and is less intense, but we hope just as high quality and is certainly as focused on implementation at the program or classroom level um, as the big longitudinal institutes are. So number one, we can come to you. If you cannot, for any number of, of good reasons, you can't make it to the inst any of those institutes this year, uh, we have a lot of plans in place to be able to serve you in your, your home, home turf, at your program or at your consortia. Um, so we've been offering the Cal CalPro workshops and institutes that you just email us or call us and we will find a facilitator and we will put them in your place. Um, this is all the stuff we'll, you call it. This is no cost to you, uh, except some of your time. Um, we will find a facilitator. We will pay that facilitator. We will list the event on our event calendar. So folks, your folks, your consortia folks uh, can register through us. We will advertise it. We will manage the registration. Uh, we'll make sure all the materials get there, including evaluation forms. And then there's an email certificate of attendance for all participants. Um, so that's the how. Now, what can you expect? I'm going to go through a few of the topics that you can just, again, call us. And please do call us. Please do email us. We will get this in your shop. Uh, each year on CalPro, we develop a new community of practice, a PD institute, essentially, um, done in a community of practice model on a select topic that is um, developed in conjunction with California Department of Ed and CalPro's advised professional advisory board of 15 um, seasoned administrators and practitioners in the state. So the big one this year, new to us, new to you, is um, a community of practice on supporting student transitions to post-secondary education in the workforce. We are really pleased with this institute. We're beginning to roll it out now to consortia and program, and it is about understanding where your learners are at developing plans in collaboration with your post-secondary CTE career credentialing and workforce partners and creating very accelerated aligned pathways uh, from your program to, to our partner programs. Um, again, very learner-centered approach. And we had so many phenomenal people who authored and advised on this. So I, I hope you'll take us up and offer this at your consortium. And if this is not the one for you, uh, then we have this range of topics that, again, you can, on kind of all the major, I call it bread and butter and brass tacks of WIOA uh, grant administration and required programming. So this is most, there, there's a few, a few others that aren't in wide circulation, but I hope that you would these slides will be available to you. Hope you'll go back to your program or consortia and say, what do we want to focus on? What are our PD goals when you do your continuous improvement plan, developing uh, PD goals, that there's something here that resonates with you and would be a, a just-in-time PD service to support you. Let's go on here. 
Uh, the institutes that I just pointed out are, are hybrid, face-to-face -face and virtual. Uh, we also offer a range of strictly virtual online learning, synchronous and asynchronous, um, as well as publications that you could download, easy to download, publicly available on the website and share them around. Um, so uh, the current publication, uh, the one we produced last year is on culturally and linguistically responsive teaching in adult education. Uh, there are whole, there's about 30 research-based um, briefs that are on the website. We also offer a set of virtual workrooms and what distinguishes these from say a facilitated online course or a self-directed online course. It is self-directed professional learning on a select topic that you can see in front of, see uh, before you. Uh, racial equity is our newest virtual workroom and I would call it a sort of pick your own adventure. There is a curated set of resources that includes um, external links, resources we didn't develop, but maybe one of our uh, state leadership project partners or an out of state partner produced uh, or were nationally produced. So high quality resources um, that you can then, there's facilitated in online courses and you can explore a topic in real time and go as deep or as cursory as, as you may want to go. And please get these to your staff. If there's something that resonates with you that you wanna focus on in your program, these are low barrier to participation. We also offer a set of self-directed courses. Again, this is 24 seven. Uh, you do not have time during the day. This is something you could do at home in your computer on the couch. Our newest topics are teaching adult English learners, principles and practices, and effective writing instruction. This is a slide of all of our courses, self-directed courses, and they were designed to be, I think in large part, I would call them introductory. As you get new instructors who need to come up to speed in adult learning, adult basic education practice, they can do this, it'll take a few hours of their time and they'll get that 101 course in ESL, ABE, Math Instructional Strategies. So if you have part-time instructors kind of new to the adult learning environment, this could be for them. We also offer facilitated online courses. Um, this is the, well, summer and fall schedule. Um, uh, this would be real-time asynchronous, I'm sorry, synchronous. So a facilitator who we've hired to go through a developed set of uh, PD activities that are strictly offered online. Um, so these would be relevant, hopefully to you and to your staff. Now I've, I've introduced a lot of CalPro uh, resources. We really, really want to hear from you and we really want to work for you. That is strictly what we are here to do. Uh, we develop our PD to be responsive. And so now I have a couple of questions for you. If you would be so kind as to put into the chat any questions you have, and I'm hoping Jim or Melinda, if there is a question about CalPro would, would let me know what it is. Uh, and we have two of them in the, in the Q and A, would you like to have those now? Absolutely. Okay. First one's from Eric Crawford. Are CalPro's trainings offered on the local level? Is there a cost? Thank you, Eric. No cost ever to you the co from, from us. So there would be no, uh, here's how much this is. Uh, what is a cost is staff time, if that's an issue for you. So that would be the one piece we don't cover is the labor cost of actually participating, but there is no cost in the service we provide ever for anything. Um, and yes, local, you can any one of the regional communities of practice uh, that I pointed out, I think there's about 25, 30 topics. I'll put them back on the screen. You can call us, you can email us. You could say, here is our focus for the year. Can you get a facilitator here? Can you get materials here? And the answer to that, Eric, is yes. So work with your staff to determine PD goals, you'd be doing that as part of your uh, continuous improvement plan, I believe soon, and we can come to you. And Eric, if that's not a good answer, you can follow up also. Melinda will let me know. Uh, next question is from Casey. I'm going to pronounce your name incorrectly. Las Davis writes, uh, regarding the three sessions for the Administrative Leadership Institute, are those identical sessions repeated multiple times? 
unique independent sessions or consecutive comprehensive sessions where we must meet, attend all three? So that was a really good little rubric you just put together, Casey. Uh, the third, the continuous and comprehensive, uh, we begin with a course of study that introduces a set of uh, thematic and topical um, events for the facilitated and online portions, and they they build and culminate ultimately in your implementation work with your coach that follows the institute. Uh, so we would want you to attend all of the, I believe as you said correctly, three face-to-face -face, um, events and also participate in the virtual work. So it's not, nothing's repeated. Okay, next up, Dr. LaToya Brown. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is a question or asking about a topic. So she typed topic, how to build effective and sustainable community partnership, question mark. Yeah, I would say, um, Dr. Brown, that for the Administrative Leadership Institute, that would be a major focus for the, the technical assistance uh, for you as if you were to participate. Uh, in if I under Can you repeat the question? I want to make sure I'm sure. How to build way. effective and sustainable community partnership, question mark. Yeah, so that would be a feature of the Administrative Leadership Institute, it would certainly be a part of the Integrated Education and Training Clinic with a focus on those workforce side, career credentialing side partners. Um, and then if I'm using partnership and collaboration and community broadly here, and that might not be quite what you were intending uh, for the new community of practice on successful student transitions, it would be about identifying those partner services in, in the consortium and in the community. Um, and if that wasn't quite what you were aiming for, please feel free, Dr. Brown, to, to add uh, follow up in the chat. Okay. Uh, Blair, Bradley's got a shout out for you. Shout out to CalPro. We are finishing up a co-op this week here at Hemet Adult School for the Southwest. I'm sorry, Southwest Riverside Consortium. Thank you so much for this great training opportunity. Um, we're, and we're happy that it, um, thank you for that feedback. Um, that means a lot and we're glad it's working out for you. And there are a few things in the chat. I'm trying to scroll. This is why we, we want you to kind of <clears throat> use the Q&A there, folks. There's a Q&A button at the very bottom of your um, your Zoom screen. If you click on that, another window will open up and then uh, you can type in the q and I'm scrolling up and down on the chat because we've got a lot of things going here. Uh, Suzanne Webb, having just completed the Leadership Institute, I know the quality of your PD opportunities. We plan to use as many as we can this year. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm, hey, when you're doing this kind of session, I, I feel the love. So thank you very much for that. We're that's what we aim to do. And um, we also accept uh, criticism and critique and recommendations for doing our work better. So always feel free to get in touch with me if if you think there's something we could do better. But I do appreciate that feedback. And um, again, we, we work hard to try and create relevant, meaningful PD and we listen. Uh, so. Okay, next we'll question from Elsa Mag Magana. Mm -hmm. I probably blew that one. If you already have completed the IET implementation, what is next? I would say if you have completed the IET implementation clinic, you should consider joining again. And I will say why, because it's hard to do IET and you could always be developing a new IET program with a new career credentialing partner or on a new topic area. So maybe your focus before was HVAC, but your new topic will be healthcare. Great time. There are it's, if it's different partners, different considerations, different subject matter. Uh, it might be an ESL teacher, new ESL teacher. I'd say the implementation clinic is still for you. And the reason to consider doing it again is this coming year is the first year we're offering the coaching support by popular demand. So if you were to consider doing the I and there's we have a lot of repeaters. We have some programs who have taken advantage of this a few times already. So encourage you to do so and you would get that for the first time coaching support for a year after your experience in the clinic. 
It looks like it's all for the questions. There was a question regarding the presentation. Um, and Marianne, if you don't mind, I'm going to answer that one. All of the presentations, folks, are going to be on the Canvas course. And they will also be eventually on the OAR site. So um, use that link that we gave you at the beginning of the presentation or the beginning of the session, uh, the bit.ly. And I will post it in the chat here uh, soon. But all of the presentations are going to be there. You just click on the link when it gets there and boom, it'll open up for you. And you'll Mel have everybody's current presentation. Oops, somebody's. Melinda, it's me. And I've just added it to the chat. Oh, well, there, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. Okay. Uh, Marianne, throwing it back to you. Thank you. I have a few minutes left. Um, I will uh, assure that the this this presentation will be available to you, as Melinda said. Uh, these the links for the applications will be available to you, as well as the Cal. Visit us at www.calpro-online.org, and you will see on the front page the applications for each of the institutes, and be able to quickly locate how to uh, request a local community of practice at your program or at your consortia, or how to register or have your staff register for any of our online stuff, the virtual workrooms, self-directed courses, or um, facilitated online courses. If there's if there's no more questions, then I just want to say thank you again to our fabulous colleagues at OTAN for always, always doing a great job hosting, um, and to our colleagues at California Department of Ed for, I would say, um, being uh, true leaders in nationally in uh, supporting professional development services for adult educators. In my role at American Institutes for Research, there's some other work I'm involved with, and I am can say sincerely uh, that there's no other state that has what California has, and that is uh, thanks to each of you and your leadership and really a testament to, I would say, the cutting edge leadership of California Department of Ed in supporting professional development across the board. 